Te Pātaka o Raikai Hotu Banks Peninsula to Community Board. Pam Richardson. So look, just before I start, um, I just want to acknowledge that we have got uh, Nathan and we've got Ursula sitting here behind us who are working, the young unions working with our board. They've already been to a first meeting. Oh, also yes. want to acknowledge the, the Whakarapo catchment plan that got an award oh, and it was um, from the Planning Institute of New Zealand. And Tyrone, um, who's the new deputy, um, I will get him to introduce himself shortly, is, um, is, is on the, the community advisory group. So um, that's good acknowledgement. And also another uh, Banks Peninsula project, the Akaroa Small Settlement Study, a number of years ago, also received a Planning Institute award. So um, the City Council has um, been part of a number of exciting uh, planning programmes in the past as well. But um, yes, let's just, um, Tyrone, I welcome you to, um, to introduce Hello. you to the board this morning. Uh, Tyrone Hello. is um, the deputy. Shall I? I stand. I mean, I've got a microphone here, but you know, I'll, look, I'm going to stand. Look, tēnā koutou katoa, ko Fakaropo, te moana, ko te ahu pātiki, te monga, ko Tyrone Fields toku ingoa. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Tēnā koe, Madam Chair. Um, look, it's just really good to be here. I'm very privileged to be on the Banks Peninsula Community Board. I'm really i um, really excited to be just recently elected the Deputy Chair. Um, as we all know, Banks Peninsula is, is the city's playground. It's um, the jewel in the crown of the city's, in the crown of the city's geography. It's got two magnificent harbours um, where international seafarers um, come every day in possibly suboptimal conditions. Um, but it's, you know, it's home to, to four magnificent marae. It's just a really wonderful place. Um, so, as I say, I'm really, really um, proud to represent Bex Peninsula. Kia ora, and kia ora to you, Pam. It's really great to work with you. Thank you. Thank you. So, if we um, now just um, look at our report, um, look, there are many things that I'd actually like to talk about. I'd love to spend all day talking about the things that we're, we're dealing with on our board. Vicky there, don't look so surprised over there. Um, <laughs> it, um, there are just a, a, a few items that I will pull out today of today's report. And the first one is about the conservation of the Diamond Harbour area. Now this particular area was, um, Paula Smith actually started the drive on this some time ago. It's a bit of council land um, and it's, it's um, it's, it's held in, in reserve for land bank for future development uh, and the, the community is very passionate about this native regeneration that's taking place here. So the board has asked staff to enter into a covenant to protect all the hard work that the community has put into those areas. There has been a number of plantings undertaken already so that the natural environment and the landscape and wildlife habitat are enhanced and preserved. So we're, we're um, looking at when the terms of reference get reviewed for our reserve management committees, mm. that the day-to-day -day management of this particular area is, is, uh, is undertaken by the Diamond Harbour, um, that reserve management committee that's operating in that area. The next issue that I want, want to talk about is uh, the rogue tracks in Littleton. Now this is just a recent area behind Littleton that's had, had its, um, uh, a plan done on it. Um, it has been for a number of years uh, a very very um, well it's a hot spot for for cyclists and walkers uh, it is recreation and conservation working together uh, we have a plan and there have been a number of, of um, rogue tracks in this, in this this reserve and we've been through a process any rogue tracks are going to be uh, be re removed um, and that if, if new ones want to be put in, that we need to actually work, go through a process that they come to the board, talk about it, they're addressed, the environmental, ecological impacts are all addressed throughout through a, with a good process and that we move, and f move forward um, with the council um, um, reserve staff or the, the park staff working very closely with us. So we've just had a recent little meeting about this um, with the Reserve Ma Ma Management Committee Chair, Wendy, and it's, um, we're delighted to be able to support her. Mm. Um, she was finding it difficult and we had a, a meeting with her just this week and hopefully that we will resolve those issues with, along with the park staff. It was a good opportunity to look at how we were going to assist her. So um, it is an issue and it will be an ongoing issue for the Port Hills and Banks Peninsula and something that, that we need to be thinking about all the time. 
So the last one that I've highlighted is the vis visitor planning for Banks Peninsula. It's the end of the cruise ship season. Um, we've got two more, one tomorrow and one on Saturday. And so the community will be delighted to, or many in the community will be delighted to see that the, we're um, nearing the end of the season. Um, and there'll be others that'll be very sad that they're moving to, into a very, very quiet period of time and it's time for them to have holidays and get ready for the next season. So this is um, a, something that a visitor planning for Banks Peninsula that we've been talking about for quite some time. Haven't um, been able to uh, move it on, but perhaps we have, we're just starting a process. So there are large numbers of visitors to Banks Peninsula, whether they're through the cruise ships, whether they're through just ordinary visitors to Banks Peninsula, um, day trippers, whatever it might be. We have over 200,000 from this, maybe over from this here, um, from the cruise ship season, but we need to be managing our tourism, and the facilities and infrastructure that we have got are not good. Um, and our toilets are very old on Banks Peninsula. I know we bang on about them, but we need to have them looked at, and so this is about managing things, and it's a board priority in our plan um, that we need to be looking at planning for Banks Peninsula. So we appreciate now that the council is working with Christchurch NZ uh, on visitor planning for Banks Peninsula. And we note that this planning needs to include not only preparing for the impact of cruise ships returning to Littleton in 2021, that's going to be quite a major impact of reducing cruise ship numbers in the Akaroa Harbour and then the increasing numbers in Littleton Harbour. So we need to look at preparing those communities and working with both communities as those changing um, effects from, um, of, on the economy particularly um, in those particular communities. And we're keen to see that a working group is established that's led by Christchurch NZ and includes representatives from the Council, the Board, the Community and Local Businesses Association to ensure that Littleton is prepared for the return of cruise ships. And we want to ensure that visitors and crew members have a, have a, um, a wonderful experience wherever they are, whether it's in Littleton or Akaroa. And we need to be looking after all of those that are coming to um, our harbours. So there are other things in our, in our, in our report that are probably of interest. Um, I could also talk about the, um, we had a lovely little email just recently from, from someone that was in the maintenance issue in the Littleton area. She he noted that um, there had been some improvements in the area. She rang me and said, hey, look, I've seen some improvements. I'll give, you, I'll give you a few months off on holiday over the winter months and I'll get back to you in the spring to make sure that the jobs are being, being pursued with. So we do see some huge improvements in support by staff and really, really do need to acknowledge that they are, they're doing their very best to help us resolve some of those maintenance issues. But we do need to, it's important for maintenance to, that we um, raise the bar and um, it's the, the shop front. Thank you very much. Now, I presume you want to move this, and uh, Aaron would like to second it. Are there any questions? Comments? I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank you very much. Thank you, and welcome to your new role. Thank you. Very much appreciated stepping up like that.